Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy and welcome back to Surgeon Simulator. Well, we have a stockpile of uh, health and shit in case we need it. Which is nice. Which is grand and swell. Maybe you guys have ammo. Eh. Reminds me of happier days. I suppose I was once human, you know? Like... But the thing is about, uh, about the Combine soldiers is that their empathy has been, like, drained from their bodies for the most part. Can I get out of here? What's the deal? No, I guess not. How do I, how do I leave then? Where do I go? Is it this? Oh? Right there? No? What? Where? Don't make holes in your wall if you don't go anywhere. Jeez. Okay, jeez. Ah! Surprise attacks in this game are bullshit. <laughs> oh, this game is a lot of trial and error. Indeed, shit. I'm hurt. Okay, hold on. It's cool that you're hurt and all, but we can do better than that. Okay, one here to hold this ground. This one here to hold this wall. Come on, you can see him. Whoa! I don't think I've seen any of them die before. Is the other one okay? No. Let's take a quick stop up for Medikai reasons. <laughs> Jeez. And oh my god! Like god, duh, god damn it! Every time I play a Source Engine game, it's like I cannot walk anywhere. I don't remember this problem being in Half-Life 2, is it like a mod thing? Because it's hard, like I appreciate it, it's, it's, hard, it's a hard thing to pick up on. It's just like to watch your debris levels because... They clutter shit. So I'm not going to hold it against anybody too much for that, but... I'm not even sure how you design around that, you just have to be careful I guess. Oh, it was a Combine Soldier in a cage. Hey, that's just... Some secure lock you got there, buddy. Um, I'll I'll work on it. Okay, we appear to be. Um, AR two. Oh, iron cannons, lone iron cannons, AR emplacements, a whole bunch of crates. Yep, grenades, lots of them. Uh, to all groups, the train is derailed. It went well. Oh. The parts for Eli and Dr. K are already on the way to City 17. Now we just need to focus on sending the rest. I'm keeping a large wad of supplies here. Ha <laughs> ha. Wad. And our own defenses. So can I get this then, please? Plenty of ammo. Do not mind if I do. But come on, AR2s? They're lying right here. Random combine. Can I not use these? Hmm. Well, now I have grenades. Last time I saw one of these, I think I chucked... I chucked a grenade down there, so... I mean... <laughs> this game is bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm even getting um, I'm even getting ammo for the AR2 there in the form of those uh, big cell things. So, all right, come on, come on, come on. No, you say you have grenades lost, and this is, must be this, right? Ta da! Way easier. Oh yeah, get out of there. You must be able to come out. Uh, okay, well, hang on. For the pipes. Ah, they go along there. I will let you out shortly. Oh dear. This is good, I think, right? Um. Well, that's a good noise. A very dead tenant. All right, all right. Let's see this. What's this? Could you fucking not? Um. Jim, Helena, everyone. 
consider this my apology when you find this I'll be far gone. A few months ago we were sat on the lookout at Breaker's Point. I was sat in the shanty looking down onto the road. That's when I saw him. A man in a blue suit complete with big face. Uh huh. He came strolling up the street like nothing had changed in the world. Before I knew it, he was in my face. I couldn't describe it if I tried. We struck a deal. He offered to keep us under the radar and out of combine sight. All we had to do was push our salvage back up the railroad to City 17. Interesting. Then he was gone. A mere second had passed. The boys saw nothing. I drove myself crazy, doubting it was real. But something made me... What? Something made me bite. And after those first few crates got sent back, food and water arrived out of nowhere for us. He's been feeding us. There is no stash. As you know, we've bled this city dry. That's why I sent JC's group further. I knew the risks, but I had to keep filling the orders, paying the rent. After JC's group didn't return, there wasn't much I could do. My hands were tied. You no longer trusted me, you made it clear. No more supplies to City 17. Okay. So I had a second visit from the suit guy. He showed me all kinds of things. City 17 in flames, Vortigons, interstellar, interstellar space, and Freeman. Gordon Freeman. It all made sense, does it? <laughs> we got given one final chance to secure our sanctuary. It was that damn train. I have to thank you all now. Thank you for obeying me one last time. You will know in time how vital this all is. Your safety. He promised it if we successfully did as he asked. He also said he would come for me to take me away to a better place. So it is done. I wait for him now. And soon, hopefully, you will never have to worry about the Combine again. Okay, so... Right, right, right. So, from this perspective, in terms of how it affects like the main game, we're talking like a... Supplies, like salvage and supplies, and just just stuff to keep feeding Gordon Freeman's endless supply of ammunition and equipment that he is able to use to solve his problems. Completely necessary from the G-Man, absolutely. Gordon Freeman is brilliant, but <laughs> without all that stuff, what would he do? Without all the suit power, without everything. So the G-Man visited this, this woman. I assume it's a woman, I don't know why. Um, I'll just, we'll go with it being a woman. <laughs> um, saying you've got to send supply up here. If you do, I'll keep the combine under your radar. But then they stopped trusting her. So, no more supplies to City 17 because, like, a few people died to keep paying the rent. They questioned her judgment because it wasn't clear why she was doing the things that she was doing. So then, the G-Man appeared, offer her, offered her a last chance. There's a train coming. Derail it and send the supplies up to City 17. That damn train. At least... They talked about in here... The supplies from the train. There we go. The train is derailed, it went well, the parts... But why write notes on the wall, by the way? <laughs> uh, the parts for Elan and Dr. K are already on. So yes, it is, it is salvage, it seems to Eli and Dr. K for whenever Gordon Freeman was taken to, like, a base and asked to defend, I suppose. <sighs> so where do I fit in all this? A lucky person. Maybe the fact that I keep dying is actually meant to be part of the game's feel, because I am constantly, like, there are const- if you want to look at it this way, there are constant alternate realities where- the resistance wins, and they kill me, the final Combine soldier. But there is one reality which we will see where I do not die on this journey. Instead, I... I triumph, and I f It looks like the salvage has already gone. Thinking about it, actually. So what does the G-Man care? It's done. She died. The salvage is a wit. Oh god, I'm their punishment. The supplies stopped coming. It wasn't the last chance. It was the punishment. A way for him to get what he wanted in a way that killed all of them. That's insane. 
But hey, that's just a theory. A <laughs> theory. Uh, okay, um, let's open this up. Get our buddy out. Hello. <laughs> we have a dude now. It's excellent. I love dudes. Where do we go from here? There's something out that way, but we can't get up there. There's, there's a crate up there. But no, that that is not the way. Um, unless... Do I collapse this roof? This feels like a bit of a stretch. Let's go out. Oh, Jesus. These environments. So that's fine. That's done. All this is great. I am... In ship shape, aside from the fact that I can't get out of here. Let's try going back out the way we came. Oh, I don't think this door was open. Yeah. And away we go. Oh, is this it? Whoa! Whoa, what? Well, my companion beat me up? Are we just that cutthroat, or is this, or is there something else going on here? Oh shit, it's Barney. I'll hit the streets and round up everyone who's been waiting. Try not to let it get to you. Everyone ready? No! I don't want to be upside down. Can't catch your me, mate. I have a fragile body and infinite lives. That makes me both very difficult to kill and very pissed off. It was just a matter of time. Shit, no! Okay, no, not buried alive, but left for dead, certainly. Ugh, indeed. Oh, yeah, God, a bunch of dicks, did. Jeez. Wow. Onwards, then. Alright. I know this has been a shorter episode, but uh, the last episode was a little bit longer, so I think I'm gonna, just gonna... I'm gonna cut off here. This is, um... This this is frustrating at times, like, as as you've seen. <laughs> but I am, I am ha having a lot of fun with it. And I think it's tying into the plot really imaginatively, and they're, they're doing a lot with what they got, which is really impressive. So, well done them on that. Um, so yeah, in the next episode, we... Get low, get low. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.